Now take a look at some brand new video from inside of the Southeast DC daycare. This was during that gas explosion last week and firefighters had just evacuated the children and staff moments before this blast. Yeah, really, this happened Thursday and tonight that child care center's owner is already working to rebuild. Our Randy Bass spoke with her today one on one at the scene of that explosion. All that remains here tonight at the Baby Einstein Child Care Center in Anacostia, a charred pile of rubble and a big reminder that this all could have been so much worse. We smelled gas. At that point, we were like, evacuate the building. Let's get out of here. All 16 children at this daycare center were safe and sound already down the street as those two explosions rocked Marion Barry Avenue in Southeast Thursday morning. We're glad that we got out. We were able to keep the baby safe. Baby Einstein Child Care Center owner and director Regina Sneed says it all happened in a matter of moments. It was just a six minute gap between the time that we exited the building and the first explosion. And now, just days later, we're trying to make sure that we get what we need for our babies. Sneed says baby Einstein needs the community's help making a comeback. We're looking for funding. They lost car seats, strollers, diapers, clothes, food. So we want to make sure that we're able to make them whole. Hoping to replace what was lost and continue care for kids and families counting on them. We know our parents are looking forward to us opening back up. I want to make sure that I have answers for my parents. They have to go to work, they have to go to school, and our babies, they're friends with each other, and they want to be in a safe environment. Yeah, in the meantime, though, Sneed and the rest of the Baby Einstein team are working on finding a replacement location so they can start serving those families again. As for the investigation into the explosion, no big updates to share at this point. In Anacostia, I'm Randy Bass, DC News Now.